Welcome back! Um, that is, assuming you've watched the first two parts. Um, this is part three of the X and Y base set booster box opening. Um, 18 packs left, nine cards for this video, nine cards for the next video. So, without further ado, let's dive the fuck into this and get on with Mega Venusaur. As in the pack, not the cards. Which I may or may not have pulled in my previous videos. I'll have to find out by watching them. Or like skipping to certain parts of the video, maybe, uh, you know. Right, this pack does not want to get opened. Aha, yes it does. There we are. Good card. Right, two, three, two. Right then. Let's begin with Inky. Uh, then we have a Phantom. Oh, I'm hoping for a Trevenant, actually. Uh, a Bunnelby, another Pumpkaboo, we have Panball, yay, a Crocorock, a Power Band, Muscle Band, not Power Band, an Illumise, that's winking seductively, not sure why. We have a Reverse uh, Simi Sage, okay. And we have, oh, hello, a hollow go goat. Oh, yeah, they made him hollow. I am happy with this. Yes, look at that majestic goat standing on a rock, the sky glistening behind him, his 110 HP and uh, attacks and stuff. Oh, that's really cool. I am happy with him. Oh yeah, they make a Trevenant Hollow, and a, and if I get the Greninja Hollow, it will be Hollow, let's face it, I will be happy. Right then, next pack will be Mega Blastoise. Will I get a Greninja Hollow in this pack? Will I get a Trevenant Hollow? I won't get both, obviously, because that would be really weird. I get a Reverse Hollow of one though. You can technically get two rares in the pack. This one of reverse. Uh, and it's my reverse Xerneas. Right. Okay. Let's begin. Uh, we have a uh, Phantom. Is that a different artwork? I think that's a different artwork the other one. We have a... ooh, uh, ooh, it's Metal Energy! It may sound a bit odd, but I don't actually have a Metal Energy at all in any of the collections, ever. So that's really cool, actually. I, I like that. That's a nice energy. Uh, right, cool. We have an Inke. We have a Slugma. A Pansage, Pan not Pansage. Uh, we have a Shona, a Volbeat, a Cassius, that refers to Cassius Clay, which is Muhammad Ali's original uh, name before he changed it when he got into boxing. There is uh, the reverse Volbeat, and we have a Beedrill. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Ooh. That's a very dynamic Beedrill there. Also has more HP than Gogoat, which feels a bit weird, but okay. Cool. That was pack two. Uh, right. Now for pack three, Evil Cow, or Yvelto. I prefer Evil Cow, because it makes him sound evil. Because as we know, all dark Pokemon are inherently evil. Uh, right. Well, from Zorua, because he's too cute to be evil. One, two, three, two. Right. Let's begin with Slugma again. Uh, we have a Hon Edge. Oh, yeah. I love Hon Edge. He's so cool. Oh, she. Froakie. We have a Bunnelby. A Sundial. Ooh, yes, another Rainbow Energy. That's a really cool card. 
a great ball. Um, we have a spooper again. Ooh, a reverse fletchling. And uh, a bee barrel. Cool. Do they have to make this one a rare, really, really bee barrel? Or bee barrel, or whatever you want to call it. Bee barrel. Right, on to pack four. Mega Blastoise again. Let's see. Also, the colours on the packs are reminding me of the Ruby and Sapphire card set because they're sort of red and blue and stuff. And uh, also, yeah, it was the Expedition Base set, I believe, the one with Manectric at the front that had red and blue on it. Right, code card. Right. Let's begin with another Slugma. I believe I've begun three packs with Slugma now. That's kind of weird. We have a Honedge. We have Froakie. A Bunnelby. Sandow. Ooh, Dunsparce! Yay! Oh yeah, I got a reverse of him, but still, Dunsparce is always cool. We have a... E uh, Evil Soda. Evil Soda? Okay, you're welcome to read that if you want to pause it. I imagine this is some evolution item. Ooh, yay, a Braxian! Finally! Cool! Looking possibly feminine. Yet apparently uh, it's quite hard to get female starters, so it's a bit weird. I mean, you know. We have an. Ooh, an Age Slash! Yes! Age Slash! Look at that guy. He is intense as fuck. Uh, pretty decent HP and he has an ability. You're welcome to pause and read. Uh, I will read in between this part and part four. And we have an Age Slash. <laughs> right, okay, cool. We have two Age Slashes. Uh, there we are. Well, I wanted one and I got one. So, yeah, fair enough. That's pretty cool. Okay, then. Would have preferred if he was a hollow, but you know. Right, pack five. Xerneas. I do like me the sword evolution tree. They're, uh, they're pretty damn cool. Also, fun fact I did not know Dublade evolved until uh, someone told me. I assumed Dublade was kind of his final evolution. Uh, and then a friend was like, oh, he evolves again. I was like, fuck, does he? And he did. Uh, right, let's begin with po uh, Zorua, not Ponyard. I'm sorry. Venipede. Skitty. Fairy Energy. Diglett. Delcati. Uh, a Fairy Garden. A Whirlipede, a Reverse uh, Crocodile, that's really cool actually, quite like Crocodile, and oh hey, whoa, hello, we have a Xerneas EX, wow, three EXs in the booster box so far, this is a very good booster box, wow, look at that majestic deer thing that totally isn't ripped off from Princess Mononoke in any way, wow. He is much cool. Such shiny. Wow, that's that's cool. It's a uh, it's a fairy and it's an EX. Yay! Okay, well that's pretty damn cool. Five packs down. Um, four to go, I believe. Let's get a evil towel. So I've got a Xerneas and a Xerneas EX so far. Not any Evil Tile cards though. I would quite like an Evil Tile card because he's cool. And I got Pokemon Y, so you know. Uh right. Good card there. Yeah. Uh 
Okay, we have a scatterbug, a weedle, a Rhyhorn, a Bidoof, yay, a Spoink, an Electrode, a Hard Charm, an Illumise, a Reverse Illumise, and a Swallow. That's pretty damn cool. I quite like Swallow. So yeah. That's pack six, I believe. Uh, it feels like it. Uh, three to go. So, Mega Venusaur. this, just decimating the pack. Right. Right, okay. Pack number seven of this part. We have a Pan Sage. Yay. We have a Hon Edge. Spoink, a Ponyard, Jigglypuff, Inke, a Lunatone. I wonder if Solid Rock is in the set actually. That's a good question. Corsola, a Fairy Garden Reverse, and a Stormy. That's cool. Star U was the first card I pulled, and Star Me is the several dozen card I pulled. Right, two more cards for this pack. No, for this pack, for this part, not this pack. This pack is the penultimate one, though. Uh, right. Sorry about this. Right. Okay. Ooh, opening up with the darkness energy. That's pretty damn cool. We have a Weedle. Zoroa. Venipede. Skitty. A... Roller skate, Dunsparce, Braxian, ooh, a uh, chess, the uh, uh, Quilladin, not a chess note, that's cool, and, drum roll please, a Tauros, uh, not quite worthy of a drum roll, but Tauros is pretty cool, I guess, yeah, cool, awesome, now, final pack. Let's go for the left. Mega Venusaur. Will this be a brilliant pack to end the part on? I'm going to say yes. Yes, it will be. Because I'm just hopeful that this will be worth you guys watching till the end. Although, I did get a Zunius EX. So, not exactly bad, to be honest. Uh, right. Let's begin. Ponyard, a Timber, a uh, the Fennekin, or Braxian, a Grass Energy, Pikachu, a Spooper, oh, what's that? That is Professor's Letter. Professor's Letter, oh yeah, that the, you took to Sycamore. Uh, I believe. Ah, and the guy himself, Professor Sycamore. Awesome. Right, uh, a reverse hollow dug trio. And the last card in this part is a beadroll again. Okay, cool. Not bad. Well, I got a Xerneas EX in this part, so I'm pretty damn happy. We're down to the last 
uh, nine cards now, which will be opened in the next part, so stay tuned. Don't stay tuned, you can't stay tuned on YouTube because it doesn't need a tuning function, but just look for the next part in the video. Bye.